Hello friends! In this video you'll see how the actors of the movie Schindler's List 1993 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they looked then and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Itzhak Stern is a Jewish official who cooperated with Oscar and had connections with the black market. He's well versed in financial matters, resourceful and has been instrumental in keeping Jewish jobs at the plant. The role is performed by Ben Kingsley. Amon Goss was in charge in the Plashov camp where Jews were held. He is an extremely sadistic man who would shoot people for the slightest offense or just because he wanted to. He had no compassion, not even for children. Emily Schindler, Caroline Goodall, is married to Oscar, with whom she was in Krakow during the massacres of Jews. She has a trusting relationship with her husband. She's a friendly and quite compassionate woman, who also has a good intellect. Wears neat earrings. Paldek Preferberg, Jonathan Sagal, was involved in illegal black market dealings and also assisted Oscar. He tries to be inconspicuous and act quickly, but he also became one of the Jews who was oppressed by the Nazis, but managed to survive that time. Helen Hirsch works for Amon Goth as a maid. She tries to follow her master's orders precisely and as quickly as possible and is very reticent, but because of her nationality she is mistreated and sometimes even beaten. The role is played by Amber Davids. Marcel Goldberg is on good friendly terms with Paul de Perferberg. He is quite dexterous and knows how to adapt to circumstances and financial matters are of paramount importance to him and can take bribes. Wears glasses. The role is performed by Mark Evanier. Julian Scherner, together with Churda, held a senior police position in occupied Poland. He has considerable power and was able to help get Oscar out of prison and also help him in business. For him, financial wealth is a priority. Played by Andrzej Severin. Rolf Churda is well acquainted with Julian Scherner, with whom he was an SS officer. He is a rather selfish person who tries to extract personal benefit from everything. Likes to be in the company of beautiful women. The role is played by Friedrich von Thun. Hermann Toffel is part of the SS troops who had known secret information regarding Nazi plans. He was well acquainted with Schindler and with whom he also shared important information, including the impending persecution of the Jews. Played by Krzysztof Luft. Oscar Schindler, Liam Neeson, was an entrepreneur in Krakow and tried to maintain profitable connections with the Nazis, including Ammon. He was more interested in profits, but changed his mind and by bribery was able to save a considerable number of Jews. Albert Hujar, Norbert Weiser, is subordinate to Ammon Goeth and holds the position of a low-ranking SS officer. He was not initially extremely violent and did not seek to kill, but the permissiveness of his commander's orders crushed his remnants of conscience. Rabbi Menashe Levarto was ordered by the Germans to become one of the workers who assembled the door hinges and did related errands. He is quite fast at assembling parts, knows how to be grateful, and he miraculously managed to stay alive. Mrs. Nussbaum, Aldona Grocco, and her husband were fairly well-off people, but not until they were deprived of everything by the Nazis and exiled to a Jewish town. She was spoiled and thought she was better than others, but she changed dramatically in the ghetto. Henry Rosner, Jacek Wojciecki, is married to Mansi, in marriage with whom they had a son, Oleg, together with whom he ended up in a Jewish town. He has a musical ear and plays the violin very well and has played music for Ammon and other privileged Nazis many times. Leo Rothner 
Piotr Polk. He's the blood relative of Henry as well as Oleg's uncle. He and his relatives worked in Oscar's company, which is what kept them alive. He and his brother often play music, including at Nazi celebrations. He's able to play the accordion well. Investor was a rather wealthy man of Jewish nationality. He was well acquainted with Yitzhak Stern, who later convinced him to make a significant financial contribution to the Schindler enterprise. He wears a ring on his right hand, played by Leopold Kozlovsky. Red Genia, Olivia Dabrowska, was one of the Jewish children who was in Krakow and came under Nazi oppression. She, like everyone else, was afraid of what was happening and, as best she could, tried to hide from the soldiers and not hear what was happening. Diana Reiter, Elena Lowenson, was one of the many Jewish women who were held in designated barracks. She is a clever girl with an engineering degree who tried to convince Ammon that the barracks was unreliable, but she paid for her righteousness with her life. Mayola had an affair with Amon Goth and witnessed some of the atrocities he committed against the Jews without even leaving his apartment. She can talk to him quite openly and tends to be curious about him. Smoked cigarettes. She was played by Gina Lechner. Joseph Leopold was a commander who was sent to supervise the military factory in Brunlitz. Like many others, he supported the Nazi regime and he didn't like the rules laid down by Oscar, for the observance of which he was bribed by him, played by Lodger Pister. Nilsa Horowitz, Magdalena Dandurian, is one of the rescued Jewish women who worked at the Schindler's factory. She spoke on behalf to all the workers, expressing congratulatory words to Oscar, with whom she then received a kiss. She has delicate features. SS Sergeant Kunder, Dragos Damietsky. Like many other employees, he obeyed the instructions of high German commanders. One of his duties was to supervise the boarding of Jews on the train to the camps, as well as resolving problems that arose during their boarding. Danka Dresner, like her family, escaped death by the Nazis by working for Oscar. She's quite a clever girl who also helped some children to escape in the toilet from their forced removal to the camps. She wears round green glasses, played by Anna Mucha. Nightclub Matred is always at the entrance of the establishment. He is quite observant and somewhat curious, able to be extremely courteous and polite and prone to taking bribes from guests, played by Branka Lustig, who died of heart failure in 2019. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it and of course subscribe to the channel.